So, um, two years ago, I received two red ear turtles from a student who could no longer have them because they were moving. And so he asked me, Mr. Mac, can uh, we keep the turtles in the classroom? So I went out and I bought a big tank. And uh, we have, since then, we've had two red ear turtles um, with some fish in a tank. But the problem is, is what do we do during the summer? So normally I bring them home and they are in this tub. There they are right there, you can see them. Here's one, they're both moving around. So there's the two red ear turtles. And so now in the summer, I really don't wanna keep them here. in the tank, in this tub. So what I'm going to do is I found on YouTube um, a way to have an outdoor small turtle tank like this or a turtle pond and that's what we're going to do. So it's a beautiful day out today. So we're gonna try to get this done. Um, we're gonna go out back and let's see what we can accomplish today. We're going to build a small turtle tank outside um, and so we're going to try to get this done today. I did see this on YouTube, so this is not my idea, but I did like it from the YouTube that I watched. So let's see if I can figure this out and try to get this done. So this is the area that we're going to put the turtle tank. As you can see, it's not very big, but it's going to be good enough for the turtles. We're gonna build a fence around it. Um, so obviously predators and these two knuckleheads won't bother it. Um, so it's gonna be here and hopefully we can dig around this and see what we can come right. up with. So, We've been at this for a little bit. We had some roots from this incredible tree. We definitely don't want to kill the tree by chopping the roots. So what I'm hoping to do is maybe dig underneath the roots and maybe push those roots down so we can lay this over the top of them. Let's see how this works. Okay, we got the uh, tank, or the pond, I should say, right where we want it. Nice and flat. We're gonna get an area so the turtles can come out if they want. All right, so now let's get the fencing. Whew, beautiful day. We're, uh, we're getting there. We just gotta get some Panduit strips to tie out the the enclosure and then we got to put up the bamboo for the outside of the gate 
load the tank or the pond with some rocks and fill it up. So here's what we got so far. Right, so we got the enclosure almost up so the turtles can't get out. We had a little a bush for some cover. Got a rose bush. And of course they have to have some plants for inside the water. And we got some fire grass over there too in case they need some cover if it gets too hot. We're gonna put some bamboo outside of the fence all the way around. So it gives it some strength so they can't get out. And then we'll put a little cover over the top for predators. Fill her up with water. We're good to go. It's coming along huh. nicely. We're getting there. Um, the enclosure is coming in really, really nicely. We got the fence up. We got the plants planted. And we got some bamboo to reinforce the fencing for the enclosure. What a beautiful day out here. So here's what we got done so Protect far. the turtles so that way they can come in and out of the water. They can sun if they want up on the dirt. Um, we got a couple plants, like we said, and then there is the reinforcement of the bamboo. Ralph has been helping. He's been a great boy helping me. Um, and it's gonna go all the way around. I'm just gonna finish that back corner. And then that also prevents the turtles from trying to dig underneath as well. We got some river rock to put on the bottom uh, for the turtles to walk on and they'll be able to come in and out. I'm going to put a ramp there for them. They got water plants there. So we got to fill up the water and uh, we're getting after it. Almost done. I think we're going to beat the rain today. So here we go. We're almost done. Just got to do a zip little tied all the gate. I got to cut the zip ties out now all the way around. We put some lights in there that are cell um, solar lights. So they have some light at night if they need. We got to fill it up. And then tomorrow we'll bring the turtles over for their new home. Incredible. Good day's work. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was fun. Good project. The new turtle, the new turtle sanctuary. Okay, so we had a couple days of incredible rain and uh, finally got it to be a nice day. It's a beautiful day today. And we uh, put the turtles in their, new, in their new home. So let's check it out, see what you guys think. Okay, so here's the enclosure. We put a waterfall, Max is checking it out. Put a waterfall in there. We're gonna clean up the back area where the grass is. And as we can see, Rocky and Adrian are out sunning. We got some lights. Again, I'm going to clean up the back area. We're going to put the rose bush back there. We're going to get the water fountain going. It's a waterfall, which is pretty cool. And uh, so they got their new home. Came out pretty awesome, I think. So we'll see how they do.